breakfast Leopoldo bus stop. It takes you here from the main train station in about five minutes. And it gets its name from the bed and breakfast that we're about to go visit right now. Piazza Leopoldo is one of the most picturesque residential areas in Florence. Full of stores, local restaurants, not touristic ones, and it's all within walking distance from the historic city center. Ciao, Ethan. Ciao. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. This is Danilo and this is Fabio. Ciao, Ethan. Hi. Thanks for having me here. Uh, so Danilo, you are the manager of Bed and Breakfast Leopoldo and if I have this right, you started this Bed and Breakfast about six years ago. Yes. And at the beginning there were only three rooms and now there are six all completely quiet with free internet, all have private bathrooms and air conditioning. And you also run two other accommodations close to here. What's been the secret to all this success? Well, of course, uh, um, we love what we do. We always uh, try to improve our job and um, I collaborate with uh, very great staff. They are very good with our guests. And uh, I think uh, also the location is important for uh, our bed and breakfast because uh, we are near to the city center but out of a touristic area. How great. So if you come for example by car, you can uh, park uh, without uh, problems uh, in uh, one of our uh, parking for a good price. And this is Chiara. Chiara is the one who prepares breakfast in the morning and she'll also make you a real Italian coffee or <laughs> cappuccino. Um, and then when she's finished, she switches and works in administration for the rest of the day. So you're such a jack of all trades, Chiara. That's right. I want to ensure that our guests have uh, everything they need, but even more that they feel at home. Um, what I like most about this job is uh, uh, sharing with people, uh, you know, sharing uh, uh, moments, sharing uh, stories. Uh, uh, I'm interested in the story uh, of people because uh, uh, it allows me to travel while I'm staying here. Yeah, I totally understand. Alright, and so this is Fabio. He works in reception with Chiara and he's always extremely punctual and attentive to guest needs. In fact, if you write an email to the bed and breakfast, he'll be the one to always answer you. Right, Fabio? Yeah, it's right. And when they arrive, I take their bags to their room, and uh, when they relax, uh, I give them a map of Florence, uh, giving them uh, tips about uh, main attractions of the city, and tips about restaurants where I don't spend a lot. Oh, great. So it looks like if you're a guest here, you have pretty much all of your needs taken care of. I've been so impressed with all of Danilo's accommodations. They're beautiful, and especially with the staff, they really treat you like a friend and not a customer. If you want to come to Florence and avoid all of the congestion of the city, this is a great solution, and at the end of the day, you're going to feel like you're coming home. See you all in Florence! <laughs>